Hey y'all, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to share five best screen recorder software that you can use to record your screen. So whether you're recording your screen so that you can share it to team members or your staff, or you wanna create step-by-step -step screen tutorials just like what I'm doing right here, this video is going to help you whether you use a Windows or a Mac system. I'm going to share a few options with you. And stay to the end of this video as I'll share the exact software that I use to record my screen, and as well as being able to put that little face cam on the corner of all my videos. Starting with the first screen record software, and that is called Loom. Loom's a great little tool because it's compatible with Mac, Windows, and even your iOS and Android devices. What's great about Loom is that it's free, but up to five minutes of video each time that you record. And yes, with Loom, you can also create that cam bubble effect on your videos so you can present and record at the same time. To get started, you simply install Loom, sign up for an account, and then install the browser extension, or if you'd like, the desktop version. In my case, I've got the Chrome extension installed, so let's say I wanna demonstrate something on my browser, I simply click that once. You get some options in terms of what you wanna record, like screen and camera. Do you wanna record the full desktop or current tab? You select your devices, such as your microphone and your camera, and you'll be able to see me right now as I bend down to see my actual uh, FaceTime HD camera. And a few of these other settings which you can adjust. And once you're ready to go, simply hit start recording. Let's go ahead and do a demo recording. I'll click on start recording. It's going to request what I want to share, entire screen, window, or a Chrome tab. In this case, I'll select Chrome tab and the Loom pricing page. Let's click on share. And you're given three seconds to get ready. That's the countdown. And now we are recording and obviously my FaceTime uh, camera is right there. And I'll go ahead and stop this recording. You'll then be taken to this editing mode where you can actually edit the video instantly. If you wanna trim and cut some areas, simply click on trim video. And from here, we can simply drag the little scrubber where we wanna cut. So now it's gonna start from here. And if we wanna cut something in between, we can select somewhere here, click on split. And then let's say we also do not want uh, this little section here, we'll click on split again. And right here, Let's say we do not want this area, we can simply uh, delete it by selecting that area and then clicking delete. Now it's gone and now what we are left with is all this. So we can play it back and preview it if we want. So right here, skipped all the way to this next uh, segment. And that is it in terms of trimming your video. You can't do much else to it otherwise. You can download the video by simply hitting the ellipsis button and then clicking on download and then clicking on download video. Do also note on Loom's free plan, you can record up to 720p video quality, whereas on the business plan, you've got up to 4K. So there's a big difference in terms of resolution there. The next way to record your screen is a free way and that is to use your system's built-in screen recording software. And with Windows, you can do it with some instructions that I'll share with you right here. These instructions are provided by InVideo and essentially what you wanna do is open up Game Bar and then from there you configure the settings. Follow this, I'll provide a link to this page in the description box below. And then what you do is you press the Windows key on your keyboard plus G and then you can start recording your screen. I don't have a Windows system so I can't demonstrate, but I do have a Mac OS system. So on the Mac system, all you need to do is hold the Command Shift 5 keys. And when you do that, this toolbar appears and what you do is select the options first, selecting the right microphone. Let's say I wanna use this one right here. And then capturing the, using the timer if you wanna do so. Uh, where do you wanna save your video to? Do you wanna save it to your desktop, documents? Uh, I've named mine screen recordings. I've got a specific folder for it. And on the left, you can select what you wanna capture your entire screen, a selected window, a selected portion. So let's say we wanna select capture selected portion. We'll select that and we can see the little uh, dotted area and we can drag what we actually want. And then selecting what you wanna record, record the selected portion. I'll click on record now and now it has started. At the top bar, you can see the little icon where it has a little stop button now. That means it is recording. Once you are done recording, all you need to do is to click that once and that is it. Your video file will be saved in the location that you set in the options. As you can see, in my case, it's in the screen recordings folder. In terms of then editing your videos, you can use your operating system's built-in 
video editor on the Mac OS, I believe it's iMovie. And if you're using Windows, it is Windows Video Editor. Of course, there are paid options such as Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. All right, moving on, the next way to record your screen is to use Canva. With Canva, you can present and record anything you want, whatever you've designed on Canva. All you need to do is to go to that little ellipsis icon and then you'll see present. There's also present and record, which is what you want. Click on present and record once. Click on go to recording studio. And now set up your camera and microphone. I'll use the FaceTime camera again, here I am. Selecting your microphone there, and once you're ready, click on start recording. And now it is recording my design. In this case, this is a full keynote presentation. I can move along, it's recording my video right here, the talking head, as well as uh, my microphone. Once you're done, you can end the screen recording. Once it's recorded, you can see the link that you can share or you can download the video. But let's go ahead and save and exit. You can always go back to the video you recorded by clicking the ellipsis and then going to present and record again. And you can click on download recording. Now that it's downloaded, you can edit it in your favorite video editor, or you can simply use Canva again to edit your video. So if we go back to our homepage, our main Canva homepage, that is, we can simply drag and drop the video that we just downloaded. So right here, I'll drag and drop it anywhere on my homepage. Here's a video I just downloaded. What I can do now is create a new design. Let's say a video. If you don't see this, simply type video and then you'll see the video template right there. We'll click that once. Now go to your uploads, then to videos, and then you'll find the video that you just uploaded. We'll click that once. That'll insert it and we'll just modify it so it takes up the entire canvas right here. I'll just drag it to the end. And now what we can do is edit our video. So let's say we wanna drag or trim the start of it. We can use that to drag. We can also split right here. Let's say we wanna split and then split again right here, deleting the middle. And now we have edited our video to the way we want. Once you're done editing, click on download and then download it as an MP4 video. Moving on to the next screen recorder and this one's a more premium tool, one that's paid and that's called Camtasia. Camtasia's got a whole range of features. So if you are serious about doing screen recordings, whether that's for educational purposes or if you wanna take your videos to the next level, Camtasia is a great option. If you're using Windows, it's compatible with that. Mac OS as well, so compatible with both, which is the option that you wanna take if you are using Windows and wanna go that professional grade. The only downside is that it's quite pricey and this is in Australian dollars. In US dollars, it is about $2.99. But the great thing is you purchase this once and you have a license to use as long as you want. But if there are some updates, which uh, they do release often, then you will need to pay sometimes depending on the version number. But to run through some of the features with you, they've got a range of templates to make it easier than ever to create the videos that you need. So things like uh, lower thirds, text overlays, effects, things like that. You've also got Camtasia packages. You've got different recording uh, tools, uh, simplified editing. So they've got really easy to use uh, editing tool to remove, trim, and move different sections, pre-built assets from a royalty-free library, multiple screen recording options, as well as being able to add multiple devices. So let's say you've got uh, two cameras that you wanna use. You've also got uh, two different <laughs> microphone devices for whatever reason. And if you've got multiple screens as well that you wanna share, you can do all that with Camtasia. There's also interactivity and quizzing if you are in that educational field and wanna get those going for your students. Annotations, of course, like callouts, uh, different transitions, animations, different cursor effects and paths. So yeah, a whole range of features that's packed into Camtasia if you're looking for something more professional. Now onto the final screen record software and the one that I use and little fine print, this is only compatible for Mac OS users. And the one I use is called ScreenFlow. I've been using it for something like 10 years or so. I think since there were version two, uh, now they are up to version 10 at the time of this recording. The reason why I use ScreenFlow is because number one, I've been using it for quite a long time. But not only that, I love the simplicity of the editing uh, features. There are some downsides, especially if you are going to record things like 4K videos and really high quality videos with multiple layers. It does kind of lag in that case. There are ways around it, like using or enabling 
proxy, but uh, it's quite technical in that aspect. And this is a very tool I use to record my screen as well as being able to put that little uh, face cam on the corner of the screen. And you may have noticed on the pricing plan, it does start at $149. So that's half the price of what Camtasia costs. So that's the difference there in contrast. In terms of the features of ScreenFlow, pretty similar to Camtasia. You know, you've got things like extra title uh, templates that you can add, multiple devices that you can also record, multi-app recording too, all at the same time. You've got different video filters, automatic background remover, and a host of other features that you get with ScreenFlow. I'm proud to say that I've recorded over 500 videos using ScreenFlow alone. This is not just with my YouTube channel, but also videos for online courses that I created in the past and videos that I recorded for my staff and team members. Now onto the verdict, which screen recorder software is right for you? The first thing you're going to wanna consider is what's your goal? What's your objective in terms of recording these screen recordings? Do you simply wanna create some quick recordings so that you can share with internal team members or staff members? Then all you really need is Loom because you get that five minute limit and it's free to get started. But of course you can always upgrade at any time. And the reason why Loom's a great choice is because you can upload to the cloud server and simply share that one link to your team members, which makes it really efficient rather than having this video file that you now have to figure out how to upload it and then share it with others. If you're really on a budget, then that built-in option for Windows or Mac OS is the way to go. You can record at any time, save that video recording and then edit using any video editor and then upload the way you want. If you wanna present something specifically from your Canva account, you can use Canva's present and record feature. And if you have a little bit of a budget to splurge on and you actually need to create those professional high quality videos, then why not invest in either Camtasia or ScreenFlow depending on your operating system. Nevertheless, I hope this video was helpful and insightful in deciding which screen recorded software to use. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and looking forward to sharing the next video training with you.